Hi there. Today we will be talking about the difference of squares method of factoring. Now this is a very unique form of factoring in that it requires your expression to have a very specific format seen here. For example, x squared minus 16 satisfies this format. There's a few things to look out for that will immediately disqualify you from using this method. For example, if there is a b term, this cannot be done through difference of squares. Additionally, if you have a positive c term, this will also rule out this method. You can have an a term, however, it also needs to be a perfect square. So to factor this way, we simply follow the formula seen on the screen, and you can break down these expressions from standard form to factored form. For example, x squared minus 16 can be broken down like this. 9x squared minus 25 can be broken down like this. Now it's always important to check if you can common factor your expression to turn it into a difference of squares expression.